kingdom in all of Africa shares this privilege. Train hard, fight harder. We fear no one. And we fear no pain. I offer you a choice. Fight, or we die. Well, that is a very huge question. I'm gonna be honest with you, I honestly cannot answer a huge part of that. But this is what I will say, that this movie is not just about slavery. This movie is an incredible story about, fe about what it means, yes, to be a woman, but also these incredible women and how they connected, how they survived, how they lived. It was, it's about Naniska and Nawi. Now in a Zogi, it's, it, it is a story that when you come out of it, you're not just getting a political message. You're not just getting a, um, a message. You're being moved by the human beings that are being um, displayed within the story. Now, the most important thing about that is that when you tell a story, and when you humanize characters that are not usually humanized, then what it does is it makes them feel less alone. It makes them feel seen. And that is literally the foundation for any political message where people need to be empowered. No woman, no cry. Don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. Yes, I did. It is a story that's led by um, all black females and dark skinned black females that we are leading the narrative. There is no white savior, there's no man at the ninth hour that comes in that saves us, there's no putting on lipsticks and high heels, there's none of that. And certainly we would not have been able to do this movie without Black Panther. But what this movie is at the end of the day, it's not CGI, it's not a myth, it's real. We're real people. I have to say with the testimonies that I have seen, even coming through everything from Instagram to my private messages through my emails, that the, that the people who are giving their testimonies are being moved. I am seeing the real importance of storytelling with people who have been traditionally on the periphery. We are the home. Wow.